the churches and they made a religion instead of actually giving us healing. They, there was some kind of catastrophe and uh, the people who came and took over the, the cities, they got masonry for free. You know what they're called? Free masons. Free masonry. You sure you want to just look it up a little bit? No, thank you, anyhow. <laughs> well, I hope I made you think a little. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. I know. I know. It's a little hard to get you away. Yeah. Down there. You know, I couldn't do that. that was I talked to my husband yesterday. And she said, it's been. I know, I couldn't. I know. Yeah, it sounds like it. I think this is going to be a long day. A long day. I think it's going to be a long day. Am I interested in science at all? <laughs> Gosh, no. <laughs> well, let me t be the first to tell you, we do not live on a spinning ball. No? No, it's actually a flat plane, and I can prove it to you very easily. This is a flat earth map. It's the best one we got, but all these world organizations use that map, but they leave off Antarctica. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. North Pole's in the center. Do you ever wonder how, when you live in Australia, which is down here, how does a compass work? How does my compass work from Australia? Does it go through the center of the earth? Does it go around? I, don't know. I never really gave it. Yeah, see, I taught you something new. I've never so my, my world is accomplished today. There you go. So there, you have to think about these things. Here's 10 things you can think about. There's 10 things on there you can think about. All right. Have a good day. Thank you.
Which is a good thing, but not. You need something to think about. So guess what? Did you ever hear about this? The earth, the earth is really flat. Mm -hmm. and we don't live on a spinning ball. Yeah. So let me just tell you, there's 10 things in this pamphlet. But look, this is the flat earth map. North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. But look, all these world organizations, they use the flat earth map. But they leave off Antarctica. Now, why do you think that? Because they don't want you to know that it actually goes around the outside edge. This is what it looks like. It holds in all the oceans. Now, what's beyond there, I don't know, because the Antarctic Treaty in 1959 prevents anybody from free exploration. Mm. Admiral Byrd went down there in the early 50s, and he found something. We think, because he lost about a dozen planes, we think he found the edge of the dome. Okay? And there is a dome. We can know that by looking up lightning sprites that ref come off the dome, and rainbows. You need to have that reflection to have the rainbow. So there's evidence for it, even though we can't see it. So what happens on a flat surface when the sun reflects, it goes in a straight line. Look, that table is right there, see? And look, that's reality. Reality is a line. If it was a curved surface, all we would get would be a little dot. So you could see it would end. It wouldn't come towards you. So here, that's a just a dot. Now, so why do ships go over the curve? Well, actually, they don't. They just go into the horizon line. See this? You know these railroad tracks continue, but you can't see them. And they never touch, but they look like they touch. That's called a vanishing point. So here, you just have a vanishing line. So those ships are just vanishing. But we have cameras now called a P-1000, and it'll zoom in 100 miles and bring that ship right back into focus. If, if there isn't too much fog, you know, or something like that. So all these things are pointing to, like, look, here's NASA. Look what NASA puts on their website. What's, you see that? What's the difference here? Which size is really United States? If the diameter's the same, the United States should be the same. So what's going on? Well, when they're outside doing a spacewalk, they're really in that pool. When they're inside, they're either wires and harnesses, or they're in the vomit comet, which is that parabolic plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we're finding out is that we've been lied to ever since we were little kids and first saw this on our kindergarten teacher's desk. Now, why would they do that? Well, if they can fool us, they can rule us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what they're doing. Yep. Teaching us yep. lies, because look at this. What's the difference between being taught lies or being uneducated? No difference. We're uneducated. Even though we have like a piece of paper that says we're a doctor of physics or whatever, you really know nothing, because you know a lie. So look, if you type this in right here on your computer, you have a computer? Mm -hmm. You type that in, you'll get everything here on the video, on the banners, and you can make up your own mind. Right. You can say, I'm going to live in truth. And, and you know what? A lot of the other things will come clear. Why do we have wars? It's really population control. They want to mm -hmm. kill off our good men. They, they put them in a ship and take them over there and kill them off. That's what they do. It's crazy. They, they hit them with all these Agent Orange chemicals and all this other stuff. Gulf War Syndrome. All that stuff is like they experiment on our good men. I'm sick of it. So I want to know the truth. I want these governments held accountable for what they're doing. So check it out. Oh, help out her, will you? <laughs> <laughs> you need a backpack so she can load it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi there. Did you ever hear of science, like uh, the flat earth science? Did you ever hear about it? No. Yeah. Well, we got some uh, information here that'll tell you that we do not live on a spinning ball. That this is fake, and they made this up to keep us from, from knowing the truth about where we live. And why would they do that? If they can fool us, they can rule us. Would you be interested in looking this up? You can take this along with you? Sure. You have grandkids or kids or something? Not that? Yet. <laughs> oh, I don't have grandkids either yet, either. My kids don't want them. Yeah, my, mine either. Now, why is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I told my kids that's why I had them. <laughs> that's a good idea. Hi, did you ever hear this before? No. No? There's a lot of evidence. And I'm just here showing everybody the evidence for the flat plane. Instead of a spinning ball, I think we were indoctrinated as children. All of us were. But somehow I came out of that by studying what, what the evidence really was. There are ten things on here, but uh, really what happens is this is the flat earth map. North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. See, and then it's big. The Antarctica is tall, so it holds in the oceans. I don't know what's beyond there because I only teach to the edge. Okay, but there's look. If there's a there, if there is a curve, there has to be a mathematical formula for if it goes out, how far it drops. Okay, so this is the formula: eight inches times a mile squared. So if we see Chicago across Lake Michigan, which is flat, Lake Michigan. So that should be hidden under 2,400 feet of curvature, 60 miles, see? So that's like a 240-story building. But look, it's right there. We can see it. And we can zoom in on it with these cameras and see right down. So what's going on here? Something's wrong. So, so check into that. If you type that in there at the bottom, you'll get everything on my banners. And you can research it yourself and think. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Where is that ladies' room? Oh, there's a hallway door there or something? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi there. Do you know anything about science? We really do not live on a spinning ball. No, we do not. And there's 10 reasons right here on this little brochure. Yes, it is, actually. And there's a lot of reasons for that. See, this is the flat Earth map. The North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes around the outside edge. That's how it works. And look, all the world organizations that use the flat Earth map, but they leave off Antarctica. I don't think they want you to know. It goes around the outside edge. Look. It's high. It holds in the oceans. I don't know what's beyond there. They don't let us go there ever since they made up that Antarctic Treaty. It prevents free exploration. Fifty-three countries signed on to that in 1959. Okay, after Admiral Byrd went down there and he found something, then they're trying to protect that. But see, when you have a reflection on a flat surface, look, there's a table right there. 
You get the line. So look, that's reality, isn't it? The line is reality. So if it's curved, what you get is just a spot. You don't get the line. So that's one indication. Okay. The other thing is, how come ships disappear into the horizon? Why? Why? Why do ships go over the curve? Well, look, you got perspective. Same with planes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. The curve. You never see the clouds go over the curve, right? They just go off into the distance. The same thing with the ships. So look, these railroad tracks never come together either, but they look like they do. That's called perspective, the vanishing point. So ships going into the vanishing line, they're not going over a curve. They're just vanishing because of distance. But we have these cameras now where you can zoom in on them and bring them right back into focus. As long as it's not too, you know, foggy or whatever. But if you type this in here, you'll get everything you see on my banners for free. And, uh, and you'll learn something. There's two other videos on there. One's about the time lapse of the sun. You can see it. It's very low and close, the sun. Uh, yeah. Like within 100 miles, maybe even 10. And it just goes off in the distance, gets smaller and smaller. That would never happen if it was 93 million miles away. See? Never happen. So why is this happening? Look at NASA. Look what NASA puts on their websites. Doesn't that look strange to you? Why are they two different sizes in the United States? Why is that? Na that's crazy. NASA's wacko. NASA lies. Look, they have this pool where they do the spacewalks in. We have bubbles in space where the air bubble comes up the helmet. We have it on video. What's going on with that? Why are they lying to us? If they can fool us, they can rule us. Because look, right there it says... What's the difference between being educated with lies or being uneducated? Oh, wow. See, they oh, teach yeah. us lies. I always heard that space was uh, fake. Fake. Yeah, I always heard that. We never fake. landed on the moon. That's what I heard that. Yeah, but I researched it. See, that's the difference. If you research it, you look into it. Well, what's the evidence? And then you think, well, that can't possibly be. They couldn't possibly have landed on. It. They say it's two hundred thirty-eight thousand miles away. Hello. I don't even get a cell connection when I go over the hills. So what, you so, think they landed on something else besides? No, I think they lied. Just plain, flat-out yeah. lied. And it was in, uh, there's, a, there's a song that's, uh, Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. NASA and Hollywood are like buddies. Oh, my. And they just make this stuff. What if they can fool us, they yeah. can rule us, mm -hmm. see? They can ship up our, all, all of our healthy young men over to the Middle East and get them killed or spray them with chemicals. Yeah. What's that about? Now you're going to make me look. Thank you. <laughs> that was my whole purpose, just yeah, to get you to look, look at it at least. Well, look. Hi there, guys. Interested in science at all? I was in school. You were in school? Yeah, guess what? So I'm, I'm saying, well, I've been out of school a lot longer than you, I'll bet. So, so I'm saying that we don't live on a spinning ball. And you can take this home and you can look up all these ten reasons and you can think about that and say, is this true or not? See? Then, you know what else you can do? Here you got, this is the flat, the best flat earth map we have. The North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes around the outside edge. And look, these world organizations there, they all use a flat earth map, but they leave off Antarctica because I don't think they want you to know that it goes around. That's what holds in the oceans. So if you type that thing in there at the bottom, the begin thing, that'll give you everything I got on the banners and two other little videos. Alrighty. And you'll be able to watch that and say, is this true? What's true? That's what I'm interested in. Well, they always thought the earth was flat, so. Yeah, you know, round. They, they taught you in school it was like this. But before that? Yeah, well, before flat. that, yeah. So who made up, this is the lie, see? They introduced this lie. If they can fool us, they can rule us. That's They'll tell like us it. anything and we'll believe it. That's just like they say we went to the moon. Really good we did moon. not. We did not. You're right. Absolutely. <laughs> good job. 
Some people, like, they get part of it, like that guy. We didn't go to the moon. I'm there. You're right. We didn't. See? There's a lot. Of, yes. Yes. So if you really look into it just a little bit. There's so much different things coming out, but you know what? Yeah. I don't know what Well, you know not to trust the government, and that's a that's the best thing. Just ask an Indian. Interested in science at all? No, thank I could you. I could flip your wig in about ten seconds. <laughs> really? Yep. I can do it. We don't live on a spinning ball. Hey, did you ever hear about this? No. It's really easy to understand. You can even do it. I got a Bible that tells me. Exactly right. Hey. Here's the guy who gives you all the verses that relate to this. I understand, believe me. Yeah, well, it's not a ball. Oh, I'm sorry. Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. Interested in science? No. Yeah, I already Yeah, I Hi. Did you know that we don't we do not live on a spinning ball? And I can prove it to you. Are you interested in any of science or anything like that? Look, here's ten proofs in this little brochure that you can look up yourself. Okay. But uh, yeah. I was told that you would spin around. No, we don't. We don't spin around. That's actually, that's school. What happens? Yeah, but the sun is actually moving around us. See, so it goes like this, and then it goes down there. Now it's on its way back. March 21st, it'll be at the equator. We don't. I won't it. It's we don't spin. We were told a lot of stuff in school that yeah. we should question. Oh, I do. I like to like. I never learned. Like, I went to Boy Town, and I every time I got out, I'd been doing a lot of stuff. I, they told me school was always. I, That's right. I, I would say it was a lie, but they didn't always go far. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They don't always tell you what's going Maybe on. Maybe teacher didn't know either. I don't know. Well, I think we ought to know because we got to hold our governments accountable. Don't. Oh, but see, and we're paying school taxes. How how much school tax? That's a lot. I don't. I, I don't I, want I, my kids being taught lies. I, I, I don't hear the voice of school district. Huh? 
Are you? No, but my I have a relative who is. That's why I'm up here. <laughs> I know they got bathroom problems now. The kids, the boys in the girls' locker room. I, 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 I'm not going to judge. I mean, maybe they. I mean, I don't want to say a lot of stuff. I am not going to judge them because maybe they do have a problem. Some people, you know what I mean? Well, if they have a confusion, if those kids are confused about if they're a boy or girl, yeah. then they should go change in a little separate room. Yes, yeah, I don't have and They no should not be in with all of the girls. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind that. I yes. would feel. I would feel embarrassed. I, mean, I don't have to, but if I would have. A room by himself. That's right. Yeah. And, 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 and I would think, I would think they, they would even feel comfortable. You know what I mean? I, I mean, for lots of violence, yeah. I mean, That's right. I, I said, I'm getting free. Sometimes I remember Mr. Presidential Primary when I first graduated, but sometimes I get free, I don't want to vote. But I said to myself, no, I'm going to vote. Yeah, but you know what? I found out it doesn't matter really. Because they all tell you something's going to change and it never does. Well, What's think, going on well, with that? I was my dad used to say, and I had a teacher that if you don't vote, you're going to lose your vote. And most of people around the world would love to vote. And I know as long as we still have a free offer to vote. Well, that's a good way to look I, at it. I, I, yeah. I'm the last presidential. One of my yeah, I did vote for Trump in the last one. Uh, but I see, nothing's changing, is it? I, I stood two hours in line. And one of my friends, you're crazy. I said, she said, we said uh, if I had stand at the next president, if I had eight hours, I would. Yeah. She said, you, I said, because I, to me, voting is very important to me. Yeah, it's important to you, yeah. so you got to do that. I you do. I, but I want to know what's the truth. Yeah, but I, you See? Know, you know, sometimes I know people want it. I do, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I know sometimes I know the truth. Sometimes A lot of people don't want to know the truth. They're scared. They're scared. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, but see, you might get scared, but I would have had somebody tell me the truth, the lie. You but can't I, deal with the lie. Well, it I just makes that, you go in circles. But I guess that's the old-fashioned way of thinking. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good way. Well, yeah. You. You'll never guess where I'm from. I never would. So you really think there, the unicorns existed? Because I do. I do. I, I look up old uh, ancient things and... Uh, Mermaids, berries, yes. And you know what? We're doing the same thing now that used to be. They used to mix the DNA. Uh, ancient cultures had... Marbles and horses. That's what made Yeah. And there was uh, the uh, Pan, who was half goat, half man. All those things existed. That's not mythology. Yeah. How, how are you supposed to come up with them? If it, if it right. Like, yeah. Same thing with, like... Um, what is it? Like criminal minds. How are you supposed to come up with all those people that like, are that psychotic if it didn't actually happen? Right? Something happened that we don't know about. Just because we don't know doesn't mean that it didn't happen. That's right. So, yeah, I, I like uh, looking into all that stuff, too. We're finding out these old buildings were really something different than they, they think they were. Like energy collectors and all that. Hmm. And we can be healed by sound waves. Interested in science? I got one from Oh, did you? Okay, sorry. I'm going to go get a little bit of coffee. Do they light up? <coughs> oh, they do. Look at that. How much? They're $10. They light up with batteries, not included, but there's also a USB. Um, it, it doesn't come with it, but you would have to get one to plug it in. Cool. I'll take one. <laughs> one bag? No, I'm good. Alright. You can put your thing on it. <laughs> exactly.
Excuse me. Those are those. Yep, yep, they are. Lemon poppies. I gotta talk because I'm in the bathroom and I don't want you to hear all this noise that's going on. Where is this stupid microphone? No, I just keep talking and nobody will hear what's going on. <laughs> I should have left this outside. Isn't that awful? What's going on? Okay. I'm going to have to remember to leave this outside next time. You guys don't need to know everything, do you? Oh, oh, here's the thing. What is your question? What's the biggest obstacle about it? You think we live on a spinning ball, right? Okay, so what is your biggest obstacle? Dr. Evil's um, little reasoning. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, the slide of Dr. Evil's um, evidence. What's Dr. Evil? From Austin Powers? Austin Powers, this guy. As his name in the movie. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah. did you know this is the flat Earth map? North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. See? That, and all these world organizations use the flat Earth map, but they leave off Antarctica. So that's how you know. And then there's reflections on a flat surface is a line. And that's reality is the line. But if it's curved, you'd only get a spot. So these are little evidences we're finding out. On here, there's 10 things you can look up and think about. But the best way to get everything on my banners is type in that. Okay. And you'll get everything, and you'll be able to decide for yourself. And you're having a little one. So you need to know. Is your first? Yes. Okay, so when you open the door to the government being lying to us about all this stuff, then you'll start to question other things, like vaccines. Okay? Please really look into vaccines. Uh, make sure you always read the insert. I think it's all a big hoax to get us to inject our babies with metals. Mm -hmm. Why would you need aluminum in a vaccine? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to think about. Yeah, please educate yourself on all this stuff. I'll check this out, though. Okay. Are 
Interested in science? Interested in any science? Or uh, you want to know if we really live on a ball? <laughs> or if we live on a flat surface? This is the flat earth map. All the government organizations use that right there. You can see. You use a flat earth map. But they leave off Antarctica because it goes around the outside edge. Mm. That's how it really works. You type this in and you'll see everything on the banners. Hmm. And you can decide for yourself. Hmm. I'm all about truth and figuring it out, critical thinking, hmm. allowing people to make up their own mind. Why do you think we live on a ball? I don't know. I never really gave much thought. <laughs> well, neither did the little five year old kid walking into the kindergarten room and seeing that ball on the teacher's desk. <laughs> See, we were indoctrinated when we were very little, and we couldn't question it or stand up for truth. That's what happens. Question it now, now that you're all grown up. Hi there. Here you go, buddy. You can look this up yourself. Give it to your dad and read it together. Read it together and ask. Put it in his pocket. That's good. Yeah. Interested in science? Hmm? You interested in science? Real science? Yeah, this is real science. Don't we don't, get him started. Don't get him started. We don't live on a spinning ball. <laughs> don't get him started. Is he educated? No. What? Not, no. Not yeah. Okay.
Interested in science, young man? No, my daughter is a scientist. Where is she? Tell her to come here. She teaches at uh, Unionville. Really? So listen. Forensic biology. If you want to have a good conversation with her, here are 10 things that you can look up and you can talk about. Talk about this with her. Because look, there's 10 things that, that uh, show we do not live on a spinning ball. They're very good questions. I'm sure she'll be interested in that. For yeah, sure. that's good. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, well, she's been teaching us now. For and you can contact me through that website. So if you have any other questions, I'd be happy to talk to her or whatever. Email, whatever. Make sure she gets this. Thank you. She's always Yeah, good. <laughs> interested in science? We do not live on a spinning ball. And I can prove it to you. <laughs> I'm not going to check it out. Okay. Interested in science? Yes, I am, and therefore I'm not interested in flattery. Yeah, that's because you don't know anything about it. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, fine. And I, and I will remain ignorant, okay? Yeah, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Hi there. Interested in science? Always interested. We were taught we live on a spinning ball, and I can show you that we don't. So we have an alternative, and you can think for yourself and decide what you want to believe, right? Uh -huh. So here we have a flat Earth map. North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes around the outside edge. Would you hold that for me, please? So how does a compass work when Australia is down here and North Pole's here? Does it go through the Earth? Does it go around the Earth? How does that work? Well, on a flat Earth map, there's Australia, there's the North Pole. It goes very easily on a flat Earth map, doesn't it? So here we have some other things. All these world organizations use the flat Earth map, but they leave off Antarctica. I don't think they want you to know that actually this high wall goes around the outside edge and holds in all the oceans. I don't teach past the edge because I don't know what's beyond there. The governments of the world know because they signed the Antarctic Treaty in 1959. 53 countries. We have never had a legitimate war at least since then, maybe before. Okay. So what are we doing with all these wars? We're just, they're just doing population control on us. That's what they're doing. They chip our good men off to get killed. If it's a flat surface, you'll get a line of reflection. Look, it goes right onto that table, doesn't it? This is reality. You get the line. If it's a curved surface, you only get the spot. So what's going on here? Well, so you say, well, the ships go over the curve, right? So we have something called perspective. You know these railroad tracks continue, and they never touch right? But they look like they do. They look like they go to a point. That's called the vanishing point, and that's how our eyes work at a distance. So with the horizon, you got a vanishing line. The ships just go into that line, and they disappear. But we have cameras now that can bring them back into focus. They can zoom in 100 miles. So all these things together, along with NASA having this pool that they do their spacewalks in, because we have bubbles in space where an air bubble will go up the helmet. Mm -hmm. where, where, how does that happen in space? Right? So there's a lot of questions. If you type in this uh, down here on your computer, type that in, you'll get three videos. You'll get one that shows the 200 proofs. You'll get one that's a time lapse of the sun. 
you'll get another one about refraction, which makes you see think that it sun goes down, but it really doesn't just goes away. So that will get you started on your journey to figure out what is truth. What is the truth? And once you figure out that the governments are lying to us to keep us under control, then you'll your whole world will open up for you. I think that's what. What is? Uh, do you have any like question? Like, no, that can't possibly be. It's impossible. You know, that's Star Trails. That's Polaris in the middle of that. You leave the aperture open on the camera, you get circles. But look, this is what they teach us in school, where everything's moving, the sun's moving, the planets are moving. I don't think you'd ever get that with that. I think there's a lot of questions, don't you? And guess what? No matter how high you go, the horizon is always at your eye level. You never look down. Never. You could be a man at Everest, and it would still be up here. Horizon. That proves perspective. <laughs> so have a good day. Hope you think about it. Can I tell you anything about this? No. I got my list now and I